Hey there YouTube, it's Math Boy. Welcome to my third and final video showing my fall eBay purchases. So this video is rather short and sweet. It's only four purchases all from the mainline autographs eBay account. They do a Pittsburgh show. You can see when it is there. They, it's a wonderful show. They have a lot of dealers there, a lot of autographs guests, and their prices are reasonable. So Jim and his crew are really, really good. So mainline autographs. So I was searching out Bill Mazeroski items one day. Came across this photo, and it happened to be on the mainline autograph show page. And I've seen this photo before, but not with his signature and Gene Alley's signature. Oh my gosh, this is kind of awesome. Looked at the price, and I couldn't buy it quick enough. So, Bill Mazeroski was signing at the show. I think flats were $75. I don't know, but I got this whole thing with the signatures, obviously. Ship taxes for less than 70 bucks. So, $68 and some change. So, I was glad to add this one. Those two guys right there were phenomenal middle infielders. Gene Alley and Bill Mazeroski, especially Bill Mazeroski because he played a lot longer. They turned so many double plays. Uh, one of the years in the 60s, they held the record for the most double plays turned. Gene Alley was on a couple all-star teams, couple gold gloves. Bill Mazeroski, oh my gosh, well, a lot more than that. So this was such a cool item to get. There's no way I was going to let this not be in my collection at that point. So I was really glad to buy that. So I think it'd be rather tough to top it. Well, it is. The next two I'm going to show you are pretty minor. But I like Kent Takalvi. I like Steve Blass. And I was looking at their items for Kent Takalvi. And I saw a couple of trading cards. I knew I didn't have my collection. Oh, yeah. And this photo, this both Gene Alley and Bill Mazeroski, is JSA authenticated. I really like how the JSA sticker is on the back doesn't take away from the photo, but I understand why people would rather have it on the front, too. You know, they can put it in the top corners or whatever, bottom corners. And But anyway, the other ones are not JSA authenticated, but they did include their authentication. So we got one, we got the 1986 Fleer, and the 1989 Fleer. As I knew, I didn't have these in my collection. Now, I did buy a third item, Kent to call related, so they included... Three of these tickets from when he was at the show. He was, as you can see, he was $25 an autograph. He was $10 per inscription. And I took him a bunch of items. I made a separate video just on that. And they also included three of these paper COAs. So as you can see, the next one's going to be a baseball. But it's got an inscription I do not have of him. So when I saw Kent to call at the mainline show, I did with him what I did with Steve Blass. Ten items. And, you know, I got baseball signed by him. Tall Skinny Nightmare. Rubber Band Man. You know, I, all the creative inscriptions I could think of. The uh, Tall Skinny Nightmare is what Tommy Lasorda would call him. So when I met Tommy Lasorda at the 2016, the National in 2016, I got him to sign that baseball, which made it seem perfect. Kent Tocoffey got a good chuckle out of it. But when I saw this baseball... For $40, $39.99. Oh my gosh. This is cheaper than what I could have done buying the baseball, buying the autograph ticket, buying the inscription ticket. He did make the last, he was the pitcher of the last out for the World Series. So that's awesome. Like, seriously. I, I actually was like, how did I not think of that? There's that classic picture of him jumping in the air and the rest of the Pirates team behind them and the dugout rushing onto the field. And dang, that's really cool. So, yeah, Mainline Autographs is wonderful. They deserve the shout out. And oh, I'm so glad to add these to my collection. I know the cards weren't that big of a deal, but that baseball, man, I have, I have so many signed baseballs, but that belongs in my collection, as does this photo. So let me know in the comments below what was your favorite, what you think about the photo, what you think about the baseball. I upload three videos a week, a TTM video on Mondays, and an autograph and or trading card video on Wednesdays and Saturdays. I really would appreciate it if you would like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Take care, everybody.